technology is making significant innovations every day. They are exciting and worrying at the same time. One cannot predict where humans will lie shortly. Not far are the days when there will be brain implants to improve our thinking abilities and the chip will be inserted in our fingers to replace passwords and keys. Scientists are also working on making exoskeletons to support the human skeleton that will aid in walking and doing some valuable chores. With these innovations, the definition of humanness is also expanding. Today in this video, we will discuss cyborgs. Cyborgs are a cross between humans and machines. They have both organic and mechanical body parts working together, and their abilities are far above those exhibited by their biological and technical aspects alone. By discussing some real-life cyborgs, we will make you aware of the coexistence of humans and machines. Number 12. Jesse Sullivan Jesse Sullivan was an electrical linesman. In May 2021, he met an accident that harmed both of his arms, and they needed to be amputated. Then a rehabilitation center in Chicago offered his services and amputated both of his arms. This made him the first bionic man ever, as these electric arms were connected directly to the chest muscles. So whenever he thinks of moving his arm, muscles contract and help in the movement. Sensors were also implanted in the limbic areas to help detect hot and cold objects. Number 11. Nigel Ackland Nigel Ackland used to work as a metal smelter until he met an accident at the working site, which crushed his lower arm. After six months of unsuccessful operations, he decided to have a bionic arm. He tried various prosthetic arms, but finally opted to have B-Bionic 3. This mechanical arm works with the help of muscles in the other half. But in Ackland's case, the range of movements is quite extraordinary that he can even pour water from his mechanical hand. Number 10. Angel Giuffria Angel Giuffria was born without a right hand, and from day one she was a child star of advanced prosthetic device centers. She received her first prosthetic arm at the age of one. Her current prosthetic arm, B-Bionic 3, is designed by Steeper, which is far better than the previous ones. She had excellent control and could even crack an egg with her hand. She has also appeared in some movies that required actors with lost body parts, like Hunger Games and The Accountant. Number 9. Cameron Clapp Cameron was a California teen who loved to skate, surf, and hang out with friends until he met an accident that caused him to lose his legs and an arm. He was wandering on the railway tracks, suddenly a train came, and it happened. He decided to have prosthetic body parts that used to be controlled by his brain with the help of a microprocessor. After this accident, he became an amputee activist and athlete. He advises the struggling youth and parents by saying, surround yourself with positive energy and positive people. Maintain a good attitude and work hard. Nothing can keep you from reaching your goal. Number eight, Professor Steve Mann. The Canadian professor designed a headset with several small computers to record and play audio and videos. He first experimented with this wearable device in the 70s. He was technically crazy, and he used to wear 80 pounds of equipment to his class. He also became the victim of cybernetic hate in 2012 when he was bullied by McDonald's employees, who tried forcibly to remove his digital eyeglass while he was there with his family. Number 7. Stelios Arcadia Stelios, also known as Stellark's concept about the technology, is quite weird. According to him, technology is our appendage. He used to say that technology is just our lost ability, so we must not get afraid of incorporating it into our bodies. He also added that we use forbidden energies that are not good for our souls. To prove this, he got an ear attached surgically to his arm to hear voices from far apart. At another show, he attached electrodes to his body and gave control of his body muscles to the people through the web. Number 6. Tim Cannon Tim is a biohacker, and he wanted to transmit biodata directly from his body, but American medical authorities did not allow him to implant devices inside his body. You all know that when there is a will, there is always a way. So he went to Germany for a body modification conference, and there, 
Steve Howarth solved his problem and inserted circadian in his body. It transmits data via Bluetooth and is charged wirelessly. It is just like a cell phone inserted inside the human body. Grindhouse, manufacturers of circadian, also make products implanted under the skin, and they help to enlighten the tattoos and help find some lost objects. Number five, Rich Lee. Rich Lee also claimed to be a body hacker like Tim Cannon. He got magnets installed in his ears, and these magnets are headsets that work by a phenomenon of electromagnetism. Lee also has magnets in his fingertips, so when he touches his ear with a finger and turns on his MP3, he hears music via his fingers. He has lost some of his hearing in all this, and there is a possibility that he could lose all. So he is working on making echolocation possible so that he can see at night just like bats, and he has a strong hope that one day he will become a real-life Batman. Number 4. Anthony Andriatola when Anthony was in his 20s, he knew that he had retinitis pigmentosa, making him completely blind in 10 years. Then, John Hopkins Hospital solved his issue. They implanted electrodes at the back of the head, a transmitter, and a camera with a pair of glasses in front. The camera sends signals to the electrodes via transmitters, which stimulate the retina to form an image. The vision was not perfect, but it made him distinguish between colors. Number three, Neil Harbison. Neil Harbison was born with extreme color blindness that he could only see black and white. While studying in art school, his technical guru had a genius idea and he helped him overcome his disability. He permanently implanted a device that could see colors and then convert them into sounds. At first, it was a set of wires that originated from the sensor and went to the backpack with computers for processing. Still, recent advancements had just a microprocessor implanted at the back of the head, but it also has a drawback that he is not allowed to enter the sensitive places because of the camera mounted at his head. Number two, Moon Ribas. Moon Ribas, a Spanish dancer and choreographer, used to attach things to her body just for fun. Once, she wore a glove that measured the speed of objects around her. In 2013, she was working on a project called Seismic Sense, for which she implanted earthquake sensors inside her body. Whenever there was a disturbance of even 0.1 on the Richter scale, the app registered the location and cause of vibration. Until now, when she performs, her audiences wait until an earthquake happens somewhere. When it happens, she used to dance in the direction of the quake and attempts to communicate the intensity through her movements while her co-performer, Neil Harbison, who's also a cyborg we discussed earlier, transmits seismic readings into lights and music. Number one, Dr. Kevin Warwick. Dr. Kevin, also known as Captain Warwick, implanted different chips inside his body to work more effectively. He was so passionate about it that he also planted the same chip in her wife's hands that if someone in any case grasped her hand, he would also experience the same sensation. He is a founder of the project Cyborg, where he was involved in the research as he wanted to be the world's complete cyborg. Despite all this, he faced severe criticism when he said that supercomputers had passed the Turing test. In this test, it is checked whether computers can think like humans. That's all for today's video. We'll come with the more exciting content soon. If you enjoy watching our video, make sure to hit that like button at the left and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new updates.